How are you doing everyone? I'm Safi from Safi Soft. In this video, I will show you how to use our new Android application to control your Arduino Bluetooth project. The RoboBoy Arduino Bluetooth Control is a Java native Android application that allows you to control your Arduino Bluetooth project in three different ways. Bottom command, voice command, and rotation command. I created three different Arduino Bluetooth projects to demonstrate how to use the three control methods provided by the RoboPoi application. Let's start with the first project, which will be a self-balancing robot, and we will control its forward and backward movement using the buttons command. We must examine the self-balancing robot code to determine what value we must send from the RoboPoi application to control the robot's movement. In this section of the code, we will discover that if we want the robot to move forward, we must send the letter F. And if we want the robot to move backward, we must send the letter B. After committing the movement, we should return to the balancing mode and send the letter P. So, in the RoboBoy application, we should now create a new project. Press on connect and control your project. You should now see a list of your previous projects. But there is none because this is our first project. Click the new project button. Choose control method for your project. In this case, we will go with the button command control method in the center. Then give your project a name and brief description. Then click the next button. The RoboBoy button control will provide us with four direction keys and one for the center position, as well as six keys with press and release command for each button for a total of 11 keys and 22 commands. We only need to select two buttons. I will use one of these direction buttons to move the robot forward and one to move the robot backward. To edit a button, simply press it and then change the command value for that button. This is the forward button. And we know that if we want the robot to move forward, we must send the letter F. But doing so will cause the robot to move forward forever. So if we want the robot to return to the balancing mode, we must send the letter B immediately after releasing the forward button. The good news is that the RoboBoy application allows you to send a different command when you release the command button. So we will add the letter B in the button command up. That is, we will send the command when we press the button and another when we release it, which is a fantastic feature. I don't believe it exists in any other Arduino Bluetooth control application. And you don't have to use it if your project doesn't require it. Simply leave the button command up empty. Then we will repeat the process for the backward movement button. Now is the time to put our project to the test. Following the demonstration of the button command, 
we will try the voice command, which is another method of controlling an Arduino Bluetooth project using the RoboBoy application. RoboBoy provides you with nine different voice commands for each project. So I created this project to demonstrate how you can use it. To begin, we must create a new voice command project with a new name and description, and then press next. To edit any voice command, click on the command number, then begin record your voice command. Finally, enter the command you want to send in the send command section. In this Arduino project, we want the cup to be able to rotate to the right and left, and then back to the center without spilling the liquid. So if we look at the project code, we can see that if we want the cup to rotate left, we must send the letter L. If we want it to rotate right, we must send the letter R. And if we want it to go back to the center, we must send the letter C. We should edit our new project now that we know what we have to do. Select any voice command number. Then press the microphone button to record your voice command. And finally, enter the value you want to send in the send command section. Of course, you must repeat this step for the remaining commands in this project. Following that, we should put our project to the test. First, we should connect our project. Searching for the Bluetooth. We got it. Try to connect. Now we should send the command. Move left. Center. Move right. Center. Move left. Move left. <laughs> no more moving to left. You're so stupid. <laughs> okay, you got it. Center. Now I will demonstrate how to use the rotation control command. You can rotate your phone 360 degree in both direction to send 18 command one every 20 degree. I understand that is not clear, which is why I created this Arduino project to show you exactly how you can do that using the RoboPoy application. We will create a new rotation control project, give it a name and description, and then click the next button. To edit our new rotation project, we must first examine the Arduino project code. So, in this code we decide that if we want to power the LED number 20, we must send the command 20 hash, and we must do the same for each LED number. So, let's modify our new rotation project to control the 18 LEDs with the 18 rotation command provided by the RoboPoy application. Finally, we will put our rotation project to the test.
At the end of this video, I hope you learned how to use the Robopoi Arduino Bluetooth controller and that you are inspired by the simple Arduino project in this video to do something great. Of course, you will find the links for code and schematics for all the Arduino project in the description box, which you can use and modify as you wish. And you can download the Roboboy Android application for free from the Google Play Store. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the SafiSoft YouTube channel. Have a good day and good good. Thank mm -hmm. you.